all right so how's it going and today we're looking at one of the best 1440p slash 4k gaming pcs that you can have right now featuring the rx 7800 xt for around 1000 to 1050 dollars so hey check out the links in the description and press on that like button if you want to see more videos of that kind and without wasting any more time let's get to the benchmarks and first up we got uh, these benchmarks that i got which are 1440p starfield being the first one and we were getting around 60 frames per second i believe a 1440p medium to high settings because it's not one of the most supported games actually next up we got hogwarts legacy a 1440p ultra settings with ray tracing set to ultra actually and fsr set to quality we were getting around 55 frames a second next up we got call of duty modern warfare 2 and at 1440p ultra settings we were hitting easily over 144 fps and the last game that we're looking at which is cyberpunk 2077 with ultra ray tracing ultra settings fsr set to well, i don't know actually maybe set to quality and we were getting also around 55 to 6 frames a second so the cpu and you know what it is we're looking at the amd ryzen 5 76 600 and at the time being this is one of the best value for money cpus that you can get right now you know comparable to the 7500f in terms of value for money it gives you really good performance for the money and it will give you really good you know cpu gpu combo that we're looking at you know it's not bottlenecking our gpu and it gives you really great gaming performance when you pair it to the 13600k or even the 14600k you'll not notice any difference and it's a pretty power efficient GPU. it's a 65 watt tdpu as for the board we're looking at the msi b650m-p motherboard this is a b60m board so yeah it supports the you know the newest gen cpus like the x version of these cpus no problem the ones that require high tdp and it's got good bios in it so you can you know tweak the cpu in order to make it uh in the best possible you know, uh, voltage and the best possible clock setting in order to get the best experience so yeah and it's got four ram slots that you can actually upgrade all the way up to i believe 128 gigs of ddr5 ram around 70,000 megahertz but that depends on the bios you know the version of the bias actually so yeah RAM we're looking at 32 gigabytes of the DDR5 600 megahertz RAM and 32 gigs is more than enough for gaming as I usually say 1440p or 4k gaming or whatever to actually about it 32 gigs is the way to go now in its standard opinion and the SSD we're looking at Western Digital WD I believe one terabyte M.2 SSD that goes for around 35 dollars PCIe Gen 3 uh, the PCIe Gen 3 it's a big difference between it and the Gen 4 so if you want to go with the Gen 4 SSD I'd leave that to you but yeah I decided to save that extra 10 dollars in the SSD in case you really don't matter with that speed that much with you but if you do care you know get the gen 4 ssd for 40 dollars no problem the gpu and you know what it is this is the amd rx 7800 xe for 500 dollars i believe 500 is 20 bucks right now and this gpu comparable to the rtx 470 is more superior of course kind of performs like an rtx 3080 but you know it consumes less power and that's an amd gpu of course so you're getting that fsr3 capabilities you're getting fsr3 capabilities in any gpu actually a brand new one at least and you're getting the amd fluid motion uh, technology that would allow it to get frame rates a lot of games actually doesn't mean that this game supports that it's just any game that run the x12 or the x11 amd uh, fluid motion technology actually works so that's an extra additional feature and yeah it performs better than the rtx 4070 uh, in gaming so yeah this is why some people are actually leaning towards the 7800 xe right now because it's a very competitive you and the case we're looking at one of my favorite cases you either go with the nzxt h5 rgb because this one is pretty cheap right now or you can ship out and get the bit next case uh the dimensions are okay and the cable might be okay in both while the power supply we're looking at the APVS 650 watt 80 plus gold rated power supply and as i told you actually this uh, pc is pretty power efficient 7800 xt is power efficient so you're in over 650 watts and don't believe anyone that would tell you otherwise so yeah that's been it if you like the video personal like button if you want to see that kind subscribe and i'll see you in the next piece